How's it going, YouTube? It is Docky or Docky Style Gaming, and I am back at it with another Anthem News video for you all today. Sorry for the absence on the channel for a while. I have been extremely busy, had a bunch of personal stuff to take care of, but I'm back, and I'm back with some brand new Anthem information. We did get some new information on story details and how many missions will be in the game, along with our first look at the roadmap and a brand new trailer to the Anthem series as well. So without further ado, I'm going to hop straight into it because I've actually been seeing a lot of people on Twitter ask how long the story is going to be and how many missions will be in the game. So let's start with the story missions details first. So thanks to PlayStation, pretty much leaking a bit early, the full list of achievements and trophies for Anthem, we actually now know what each of the missions in Anthem are going to be, along with all of the trophies as well and some of the icons that were shown off also. Now I will leave a link in the video description if you do want to check out the entire trophy list, but before I actually mention what the story missions were, I do want to say some of these might be a bit spoilery, so if you don't want to be spoiled by it, stop watching right now. And I'll probably pin or post somewhere in this video when you can start watching again. Alright, so now that hopefully everybody is gone that didn't want to be spoiled, according to the trophy list there are 13 missions in game. Now, there is kind of a disclaimer to this as well, because one of the missions which we actually played in the demo, Triple Threat, we know is a three-part mission. So even though it shows that there are 13 story missions, there potentially could be more parts to the stories. So let's just say there are three missions per story mission. Essentially, that's about 39 missions for the story. Now again, that's just a roundabout. It could be less, it could be more. But let's actually talk about the names of each of the story missions that were described in the trophy list. So the first one listed is Dax's story mission and it is called Emerald Abyss. Which if you do recall in the demo, there is an area located on the map called that as well. So I take it a major plot point is going to be there in the game. Next is Matthias's story mission and it is called Triple Threat which was again that three part mission that we played in the demo. Next one listed is Bryn's story mission and it is called Need to Know. Now there is a part one and a part two to this achievement which actually makes it pretty much 14 story missions because I didn't take that into consideration. Next story mission is another Matthias based story mission and it is called Search for Knowledge. The next story mission listed is another Matthias one and it is called Riddles of Robin Marr. Now, not entirely sure who that character is currently, but I assume it'll be playing a major part in the story. Or his riddles, at least. These next two story missions are Yaro story missions, the first being called Shallow Grave, and the second being called Keeping Promises. Now, we know Yaro is an ex Corvus agent who is intent on bringing the freelancers to their former glory, so it'll be interesting to see how these missions actually play out. Now, these next six story missions don't say they're actually tied to a specific person, but we still got titles for them nonetheless. So, the first one is called Early Warnings, and honestly, could be one of the starting, if not the starting, mission of the game. The next one listed is called Finding Old Friends. Again, another mission that probably will be pretty early on in game as well. Now these next two story missions actually got me kind of hyped because I can't wait to see what type of story and lore we're going to get from them. So the first one is called The Fortress of Dawn, which clearly means we're going to be dealing with some Legion of Dawn related lore. And then the second mission is called The Tomb of General Tarsus. Now lore wise, we do know we're supposed to be going to the Fortress of Dawn to obtain some type of artifact, but the Fortress of Dawn is supposed to be sealed away. So it'll be interesting to see how we get in and what all is going to be happening when we do manage to break our way into the Fortress of Dawn. Now on to the last two missions listed in the achievement list. The first is called Freelancer Down and the last is called Return to the Heart of Rage. And for those of you wondering what is the Heart of Rage, keep watching the video playing in the background. This is actually the start and cause of the Heart of Rage. So those are the 13 story missions that were listed on the trophy achievement list. So with Anthem getting ready to drop February 15th, which is next Friday, we have our first look at what to expect within the first month of Anthem release and teases into the upcoming months as well. So here in this image, the roadmap shows three different acts, which coincides with the devs saying that they already had three months planned for the post-release of Anthem. 
So according to the roadmap, the first act will drop in March. So it'll give us enough time to essentially grind a high enough gear power to take on some of the challenges we'll experience in the first update. The first act is called Echoes of Reality and we'll have three separate updates within that month for that act. The first being called Evolving World, the second being called Stronger Together, and the third being called The Cataclysm. And we actually did get a bit more information on Cataclysms, which I'll be covering in another video, so stay tuned for that. But the next two acts that were shown on the roadmap weren't given names, but we did see images for both of them. So Act 2, we see an image of a scar, and then Act 3, we see one of the images from the Fortress of Dawn. It was actually one of the images I discussed in my General Helena Tarsus Legion of Dawn trailer breakdown. So if you want to know more about that image and that alien creature that's shown as well, definitely go check out that video. I'll leave a link to it in the video description as well. Now the last bit of info that we wind up getting came from Anthem Game themselves, and it was the part 2 to the Anthem Game series, talking a bit more about the in-game content and grind in Anthem. So I'll be having that play towards the end of the video. For any of you who might not have caught up on it, there is some pretty interesting information and some pretty cool shots as well. So with all that being said, I will catch you all on the next one. Thank you all for watching as always. And if you haven't already, go follow me on my social media accounts. Links are in the video description. Again, sorry for the late upload and being gone for a while. But again, I am back and I have another Anthem video planned for tomorrow along with a pretty big feature Friday as well. So definitely stay tuned to that. So I'll catch y'all on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the subs. Peace. Welcome to part two of the Anthem gameplay series. In this episode, we are going to look at the expanding world of Anthem and its end game content. We're a long way from the Cenotaph and the storm is worse than we thought. This is it. Close as we get with the Striders. Agreed. Looks like we fly from here. When you start Anthem, you are a freshly recruited freelancer that joins a failed mission to shut down a cataclysm called the Heart of Rage. It beat us, Halleck. We need to regroup. It is up to you to redeem the freelancers and ultimately find a way to succeed in silencing it. This story is your introduction into the world, but the game doesn't end with its conclusion. The most dedicated freelancers will push themselves against tougher and tougher challenges, taking on more daring and deadly quests. In order to do this, you will have to improve not only yourself, but your arsenal of javelins. This is where your path to glory begins. As you continue to level up and become a more powerful pilot, new content and challenges will become available to you. With six modes of difficulty, including three which are unlocked in Endgame, Anthem will have a challenge for all levels of players, from Easy to Grandmaster 3. The higher the difficulty, the better the chances you will have in finding the rarest gear and personalization items in the game. When you want to make a statement, maybe polish that javelin up with a nice coat of pain and thunder. What's the use of being the best pilot in Bastion if your style doesn't match your power? From greeting friends in our social hub, the launch bay, to how you arrive on missions or celebrate your victories, we give you lots of opportunity to show off your javelin style. Each suit has many ways to get it looking just the way you want, from unique armor pieces, customizing color and textures, to collecting vinyls and emotes. Your suit will soon become a reflection of yourself, making your wins all the more glorious. Once you reach the pilot level of 30, you will continue to improve your javelins by finding or crafting the rarest gear. That's where our end game content really begins for you. At this point, you have likely finished the core story mission and your focus will begin to shift to new objectives. These are challenges, contracts, free play, and strongholds. Matthias Sumner was investigating some relics at a ruin near the fort. I need you to find him and bring him back home safe. People you meet in Fort Tarsus will sometimes need your help and offer you contracts. These are unpredictable missions in which you deal with various problems in the world. By increasing your reputation with different groups, you'll gain access to crafting blueprints. Doing daily, weekly, and monthly challenges will provide you crafting material and coin. This is a great way to make not only new gear, but further personalize your javelins. 
On occasion, people will offer you legendary contracts. Hello, hello, hello. These missions have multiple parts to them and are far more difficult to complete. In this case, Matthias Sumner, an arcanist, hires you to not only provide valuable field research, but also stop a Dominion plot to wake a Titan. You need to disrupt the process before the Titan wakes. Destroy those machines. That thing is awake. You have to stop it at all costs. You fought very well. I'm impressed. Strongholds represent some of the highest level challenges in the game and will require a team to take them on. These typically are longer challenges that will test all that you have learned as a freelancer. And whether or not your javelins can withstand the deadliest enemies in the world. Plan well, communicate with your team, and you will benefit from some of the most rewarding loot Anthem has to offer. Anthem is a living, changing world with threats arising from mysterious and dangerous places all the time. New missions. Characters and stories will be introduced in the weeks and months to come. This could either be a single scout or the beginning of something much, much bigger. Some of these changes will be small. Others will enrich the social experience with guilds and social hubs, while others will be massive and world-changing events. Everything you will have done in the game is preparing you for what is about to come. Our most ambitious and challenging content will come to Anthem in the form of cataclysms time-limited world events that cause physical manifestations to occur. It's extreme weather, incursions of dangerous hostile enemies, and new mysteries to solve. The story of Anthem has just begun. What might have seemed impossible when you were a fresh recruit will challenge you to new heights as you build your arsenal of javelins and unleash your power. Strong alone, stronger together, right? Ah, who told you that? <laughs>